Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about shooting while moving backwards, okay? Uh, now the question becomes, why would we want to be shooting while moving backwards? Um, well, the first thing is that we're in a situation where we need to be shooting, okay? Um, so, so that part, you know, we're just going to accept that part as a fact that we need to be shooting for whatever reason. Our life's in danger, you know, how we got to that point, we are now at that point and we need to be shooting. So why would we be moving uh, backwards, okay? Uh, well, there's two reasons. One is to create distance, okay? Um, and the other reason is to match somebody else's speed. Um, so if somebody's coming towards you, okay, uh, and you're moving backwards away from them, you're matching their speed. Um, and, and why would we want to do that? Well, if we're matching their speed, it gives us an opportunity to observe what they're doing um, and, and react, okay? Basically, we're buying time and we're buying distance. Uh, and, and one of the ways that I like to um, illustrate this is if you're, you know, picture standing on the side of the road um, and you and you got a car zooming by you at 60 miles an hour, well, you really can't see what's going on inside that car. However, if you're driving down the highway, you know, and, and the car next to you is doing 60 miles an hour and you're doing about 60 miles an hour, you're not able to see what is happening inside the other car. So that's the reason why we move backwards. It gives us uh, the, the ability uh, to see what's going on and what the other person is doing and to observe them. You know, do they have a, a knife in their hand? Do they have a gun? Do they have a cell phone? Do they have a screwdriver? You know, uh, do they have a spray paint can? What do they have in their hands? Um, and, you know, by matching their speed, we're able to observe these things, okay? So that's the reason why we're moving uh, backwards. Um, now, something to understand here is, I'm not reinventing the wheel. Um, this is a uh, an idea that has existed for many centuries, um, you know, in swordsmanship, in in in, in other, you know, in hand-to-hand -hand martial arts, in fencing. Okay, so that's the reason why you're moving backwards. Okay, um, and and basically, fighting is fighting. Okay, the the you know, just because we now have a gun uh, instead of a knife or a sword, uh, the basic ideas of fighting, the concepts, pretty much stay the same. Okay. Um, so that's the reason why we would be, want to be moving backwards. Uh, now, before we get into the me moving part, uh, let's let's just get into you know into into close grappling range, um, and let's look at some of the options just from there. Okay, so if I'm at if I'm at grappling range, okay, um, basically there's two things that can happen here. Okay, I'm either being attacked high or I'm being attacked low. And what I want to do is if I'm being attacked high. What I want to do is pull out my gun and shoot low. Okay? Likewise, if I'm in a situation where I'm being attacked low because somebody's going for my gun, I want to basically guard low and then bring the gun high and shoot high. Okay. Um, all right. So, so basically, one hand is always high, the other hand is low. Okay. So if the gun is high, the, you know your blocking hand is low, or if your blocking hand is high, the gun is low. Uh, the two, the two hands are never on the same plane because you're going to shoot your own hand, okay? Uh, so, that, so that's the idea with that. Um, now, let's say we're in a situation like that. We may have the ability uh, to, to, you know, to step back and create a little bit of space, okay? Uh, so that's the next thing we want to practice, okay? So from this position here, uh, basically, if somebody is moving in, what we're going to do is come back. Okay? So what I did in this situation, okay, I came out of the holster. I step back. I put my elbow out here because that elbow uh, is going to deflect stuff that's coming in. If they're trying to reach for the gun, uh, and, you know, basically I can use that elbow to knock the hand out of the way. Um, and basically, I'm bringing the ba the gun back so it can't be uh, taken from me. Okay. And basically, this is a very strong position to be in. And I can be high here or I can be low over here. Okay. Uh, and like I said, um, you know, the basic ideas of fighting have existed for centuries. Uh, there's actually a lot of, you know, if, if you look at the historic manuals, uh, there's actually swordsmanship guards where basically they're in a high position like this or in a low position like that. So a lot of the stuff that, you know, like I said earlier, fighting is fighting. Uh, you're going to see a lot of similarities, um, you know, with the gun that you'll see in other martial arts, okay? Uh, so now let's go a step further, okay? And, and now let's say uh, we need to, we have the, the opportunity to create even more distance, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to backpedal, okay? Now, we don't want to backpedal more than three, maybe four steps. The reason is because when we're backpedaling, yes, we're creating space. Yes, 
Uh, it gives us the ability to see what's going on. But at the same time, we're moving backwards. Um, and the more steps backwards we take, uh, the higher the chance that we are going to trip, okay? So we want to limit how many steps we take back, you know, how many steps we, we move backwards, okay? So let's try that now. So we're here, we're like, hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. Okay, so that's what backpedaling while shooting is going to look like, okay? Um, you're taking a limited number of steps uh, you know backwards while shooting okay um, usually when you when you're back paddling and shooting you're really not going to get a chance to really line up your sights uh, because the other person is basically you know within five or six feet uh, so you're doing a lot of point shooting you're pretty much point shooting at the you know uh, in that position okay um, now let's go a step further what I'll do is I'll do a tactical uh, reload so I go into the next uh, exercise with more rounds here okay now what we're going to talk about is if we have the ability to, 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 to you know, if we need to move uh, further, faster, and we're able to do it, how are we going to do it? Okay, now the way I'm going to do that, okay, the threat's here. I want to run away from the threat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of the holster. I'm going to get my hands in this position here, and I'm going to run in a circular motion. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm running in a circular motion. So I'll do it this way so you can see. All right, so basically, let's say you're the threat. Okay, you threaten me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out of the holster. I'm gonna get into this high position here. And what I'm doing is I'm moving away from you, but I'm, I'm doing it in a circular motion. Now, what's happening there? The gun and my upper body is pointed at you, right? In the direction of the threat. But my hips are pointed in that direction, okay? So I'm not, I'm not running backwards. I'm not walking backwards, okay? I'm actually moving forward while the gun is pointed backwards, okay? Uh, and what that's going to do is it's going to decrease the, the the chances that I'm going to fall because I'm moving forward. Um, and I can move forward faster. I can move forward, you know, uh, a little bit more more securely. Uh, and the other thing is through my peripheral vision as I'm moving forward, you know, I may not be looking in that direction, but I I, I can get a sense if there's a wall in front of me or a tree or or if uh, if there's traffic in front of me. Okay, so these are things that I can see through my peripheral vision. Okay, because I'm moving away from you, but my hips are pointed in a forward direction, and I'm able to move forward, okay? Now, if, for, if I'm right-handed, okay, and I needed to move in that direction, and there could be a couple of reasons. There may be a wall in front of me over here, or there might be traffic, or whatever the situation is. If I need to go that way, okay, um, well, one option is I can backpedal, okay? So I can come back here, I can backpedal. However, it's the same situation where now we're moving backwards, uh, and there's a good chance if I take too many steps, I'm going to fall. So, so what I want to do as a right-handed shooter, uh, if I need to move that way fast while returning fire, I'm going to come up, switch to my left hand, and move forward while shooting like that. Okay. So one more time. Okay. I'm a right-handed shooter. Gun comes out of the holster, comes into my left hand, and I'm able to move back. You know, basically, I'm able to move away from the threat. Uh, while returning fire and from a closer position here, okay, gun comes out of the holster, aims at the target. As you can see, I'm moving away from you, but my hips are pointed forward. You know, I'm moving away from you while move, while my hips are moving in a forward direction. So let's drill that now. Okay, and now I'm going to do it to the other side where I, um, I, I put the gun in my left hand. So there are a couple of things for you guys to try out, okay? And and you know, if you got any questions or comments, feel free to post some comments below. I uh, look forward to hearing from you guys. See you next time.